Hello everyone, this is Enka Rizky and welcome back to my video in YouTube. In this video, we're going to learn something new which is we will design the login screen with the Sketch app and then after we already designed in the Sketch app, we will move into the Android Studio for the XML. So we want to implement this design from the Sketch app to the Android Studio. Well, if you don't have the Sketch app, I will prepare the asset so you can easily to use this PNG to learn about the Android XML with me. So, let's get start. In this video, we're going to design it into the uh, Sketch app first because we want to make it more beautiful with the Sketch app. Now, I'm going to create new document and then press A on your keyboard to create new artboard. And I will select the mobile because this is material design. And I will give the name Login. Alright. And after that, I will create new rectangle for the background. And change it to the background. And group it to the background. And the background without the borders. And for this, I want to make the images. So click here for the plugin which is craft and I will change it to the bits well I get the images like this and this is pretty cool now I'm going to duplicate this by common D and this is for the overlay alright and change this overlay to the fill color which is black and setting the opacity maybe 50 no 30 no maybe 40 okay it's enough so we already have the background here and then i want to create the logo so just press r on your keyboard and i will create this this is the random logo and change to the outside and this is should be six and without the fill color and change the border to the white color like this okay and we can create the text here which is maybe boom okay and I will change the font size maybe 45 maybe 36 okay and change the weight to the medium and we already have the logo here okay it's only sample so don't be seriously and this is the logo okay boom and then I will create the input type which is the username and the password so here we're gonna to press U or U on your keyboard and create like this and the hex should be 45 okay and after that I will group it to the inputs okay and it's called the username and without the just change the fill color to the white and we don't need to border and change the opacity to make it transparent maybe 40 no maybe 35 okay and setting the radius to the 100 and here I will create the text which is username and the uh, wait maybe regular no maybe like and the font size is around 22 let's take a look oh it's so bigger maybe 18 okay it's enough for the 18 and then I will duplicate this and go into the plugin icon font and with the simple line icon because I want to make the icon for my input type so I think the good icon is love mm, like no hurts okay I will use the hurts yeah uh, if you are using the face icon I think it's so mainstream <laughs> so I will use the heart icon like this okay 
and I will create the divider by press L on your keyboard like this and setting the line to the white color and setting the border like this so you can see the border it's so smooth okay this is pretty nice and then I will copy and paste here this is the last one is for the password and the password I will change it to the another icon maybe we can use this hmm, use the another icon which is pretty cool well I think we can use security here Okay, and I'm going to change it to the password and setting the margin from the logo maybe 100 okay and then I will create the button by duplicate this okay and should be sent in and make it to the center and without the icon and the sign in of the opacity should be 100 and i want to change it to the orange okay it's a good choice and the sign in should be regular okay like this cool or also i can duplicate this but firstly i will change it to the same btn i will duplicate and fb btn and move to the bottom and get the margin around 40 and here we can send up with Facebook okay and I will duplicate this to change it to the icon which is the Facebook okay and here like this Cool. and I want to group this and make it to the center and the color should be changed because this is Facebook so we use the blue color so this is our so this is our login screen and we will implement into the Android studio but firstly we're gonna to select all of them but before we select we need to save it to the PNG because we will deliver it into the developer. So this is called assets and login screen. Okay. And then select this username and just hidden because we don't need just hidden. Okay. And after that, select all of them and we can make exportable and export layers and we create here slash sync and we export and then we just need to open our android studio and here we need to create new android studio project and i will give the name birds login anger and next next and next and here should be login activity okay oops login activity and finish okay now we're going to the slicing and don't worry i will prepare these assets for you so you can easily use the asset to your project and go to res and paste into drawable okay and we already have this we don't need any java just xml and firstly i will remove this action bar just use the no action bar okay and then in the color we can change it to the 4a 4a and 4a sorry okay so the status bar should be black and then we're going to the text and i will remove this text view and just change this background drawable background okay and then we are going to the design and images and image view 
and I will select the logo because we want to create the logo here okay and setting the like this and like this and this is should be 100 okay and let's zoom okay and I think I'm gonna to check it uh, the size is uh, 59 okay so we're going to the text and here dp and this is 59 dp okay and now after that let's check uh, oh we will use the edit text one two and this is button okay now we're going to the android and going to widget and looking for the text and plain text okay and setting it like this and like this and make it match parent okay and going to the text here we're gonna to change it background drawable and username okay and then I'm gonna to setting this one is 45 dp so here 45 dp and then we're going to the design and setting the margin because it's not full so 36 so here should be 36 and this is 36 and this is match parent wow what's wrong i think that we need to setting it 36 sorry okay I think we need to manually so 288 so here should be like this okay and then we just need to create the hint which is username and setting the padding left is uh, maybe 50 dp no 60 uh, I think 55 okay it's enough and the color should be white okay so it's only him but I think we can change it okay pretty cool so this is for the username and then we're moving we're moving to the password and I'm going to move it and this is for the password and change it to the text password and change the background to the password okay so you already have username and password click here ah uh, sorry got a mistake just undo uh, need, I need to setting this margin top and it's about 100 and this one no 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 we can move here wait 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 just click here just undo I think it's not 100 maybe 50 okay and setting it maybe 50 but I got the problem here, so let's take a look first into the username. So this is the edit text. Oh, we're gonna to okay, cool. Now, after that, I want to create the button with the widgets here with the button and make it full like this and setting the margin top, it's about. Uh, 32 okay and going to the text and click double click here and change it to the background drawable uh, send button okay and this is should be 45 dp for the send in now you already have the send in username and password 
but I think we need to make it to the top maybe um, let's take a look first here should be 80 and here should be 80 okay now we add this button again just uh, drag and drop and make it full white like this and setting to the bottom maybe 32 and then going to the text and double click this and I'm going to set in the background drawable Facebook button okay and this is 45 dp okay now I'm going to the I'm going to test it to the emulator just select the nexus well this is our design and whenever you click this okay and click this to the password and done and you just need to send in and going to the another activity cool so basically it's only for design well if you have the another uh, project so you can use it for your current project or next project so uh, nice to meet you from Indonesia and don't forget to like, comment, and share it to your friend. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.